What's up guys, Sick Crazy here. Today I'm bringing you guys just an episode of, or not an episode, but a video about how to get better at Call of Duty. Uh, now, I a disclaimer real quick, I know I'm not the best at Call of Duty, but I consider myself pretty good. Um, uh, I know there's people that are better than me that are out there, Shadows and Zorks. Shadows are coming to, like, pubs, but Zorks all in, all in all is better than me at everything in Call of Duty related, um, just like, uh, I, I just want to make sure that you guys know that I don't think I'm the best, I just want to give you guys tips on how to get better, um, cause I know I took some advice, Zorks, and he kind of, uh, and I've kind of given him some advice that's helped him out, so, uh, uh, one of the most important things I do is I play off my mini map. I look at my mini map, uh, there, like 95% of the time when I'm not in a gunfight, I'm usually looking at my mini map. Um, the other 5% is because I know somebody's coming or like I'm stuck or something. Um, not 95%, I'd say it's more like probably like 50-50. I'm look, I look at my mini map a lot is what I'm trying to say. And the reason I do that is I don't run, that, that way I don't run where teammates are. Um, because where your teammates are is where the enemy's not. Because if your teammates have rem any remote gun skill, then they will most likely take out those enemies. So you don't want to run towards your teammates because that's gonna not you're not gonna get too many kills if you run towards your teammates. Um, plus, they're most likely gonna spawn if you have four teammates in a group. They're not gonna spawn there. They're gonna spawn most likely towards you or your other teammate. Um, another thing is like. I don't know if you guys, uh, how many of you guys, when you play pubs, hop on objectives. One thing I never do, I almost never hop on B, and if I do, my teammates are right there. Um, for domination. And you gotta, like, you can't just, you gotta make sure your teammates are around you, so that, that, that way they can cover you. And, I mean, you still die, but, you can still die, but... Most likely, your teammates are going to kill that person and at least get the flag, so it's not going to be a wasted death. Um, so you don't, you just want to hop on flags and when you're only when your teammates are around it or when you're, it looks like your teammates are going to hop on it. Um, I usually often dive onto a flag at the last second and I'm, I'm the one covering. Um, so I usually often dive onto it at the last second. Um, but it's also a good way to get uh, get points towards your score streak in. Uh, Black Ops 2 and Advanced War, 100 points for if you get a kill while you're on the flag instead of 100. Um, so it's just important, like if your teammates aren't there, not to hop on flags, or if you do, it's like one of the home flags, like A or C. So, um, and you know for a fact they're nowhere near it. Like A a lot when they're captured C, uh, and that gets you a lot of points. So that's another tip. And then, for example, for a game mode like Kill Confirmed, you don't always have to get the tag. Um, I mean, I know you only get 50 points towards your, your kill streak um, if you don't, but if if your tags in them, you don't want to go out there and get that if you know their teammates are there. Um, and another thing, I actually just mentioned it: don't run to the middle. Stay on the outskirts of the map. You'll see. I most likely do. I mostly do that, and when I do run in the middle, I die for the most part. Now that doesn't mean like don't run in the middle of, like all, the whole game, but like don't run, don't just run out around in circles in the middle. Like, um, and if you are in the middle, try to get on a head glitch or take cover a little bit. Um, and don't challenge gunfights you don't need to. Only if you are one shot, you can run a gunfight unless there's absolutely no way you're gonna get it. I'm usually when I'm sitting in a corner, I'm usually around. I'm usually able to like run around and run around the wall and get covered. But those are just three, uh, f three or four of the many tips that I have. So this will be a series. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Come like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter. It'll be nice with the blue. And as always, guys, this has been Sick Crazy or Crazy HD, and I'll see you guys. In